After Jamaica won the toss and elected to bat first, Prime Minister Kamala Basad Bissessa, displaying her red, white and black, had a few words before the battle began. I want you to give a good Trini welcome to our Jamaican visitors. Give it up for Darren Ganga and Brian Lara and all the others who made these games possible. And made the best team win. And then it was down to the game with a crowd roaring behind the home team. Samuel Badger did not disappoint, getting the wicket of Nkrumah Bonner in the first over. But it was the beginning of a nightmare for Jamaica. In Nevin Stewart's second over, fellow Jamaican Damian Jacobs was bold, leaving the visitors reeling on 14 for two. 14 runs later, Xavier Marshall misread Badger's googly and was bold, deepening Jamaica's woos on 28 for three. But a big wicket came after Tama Lambert was brilliantly stumped by Dennis Ramden for 24. Wickets kept coming in and leaving. Jamie Merchant was bowled by Kevin Cooper. TNT took control. Three runs later, Horace Miller was cleaned up by Lendl Simmons. But McCarthy continued to play his shots and ended on beating on 54 to lead Jamaica to a below par 114 for 7 in the 20 overs. TNT in reply lost the outer form opener, Lendl Simmons, who was comprehensively bowled. Then Evan Lewis was magnificently caught by Tamara Lambert. William Perkins followed trap leg before to David Bernard Jr. And in a matter of moments, TNT were tottering on 25 for 3. But then West Indian pair of Captain Dennis Ramden and Darren Bravo came together and brought TNT back into contention. The pair put up 70 for the fourth wicket to take TNT to 95 before Bravo was caught for 33. With TNT needing 6 from 8 deliveries, Jason Mohammed smashed Nagita Miller for 6 to send the Queen's Park over the interrupters. TNT winning by six wickets with seven deliveries remaining.